everybody. My name is Today Girl Twenty, and I I have a brand new brand of kind of new let's play for you guys. Um, I'm gonna be playing for you guys Roller Coaster Tycoon Classic. I wanted to try it a new game, have like have variety and stuff. So yeah, let's get started with this. So we're gonna st we're we're just gonna do the simple one, like the first one, the beginning one, Forest Frontiers. I'm gonna be playing this so. Basically, since this is the easy one, I can play this with no issue. It's Forest Frontiers. Deep in the forest, build a thriving theme park in a large clear area. We have to have it 250 guests by the end of October, year one. Basically. And our park rating has to be good, too. So, yeah, welcome to Roller Coaster Tycoon. If you didn't know, um, I'm a fan of the classic one. I, I don't really play the newer ones, but I do play the classic ones. I actually played this game... Um, like, like, I actually played the first one a long time ago. Like, when I was a little kid, because my parents played the game, and I thought the game was a lot of fun when I saw them play it. Um, it took me a little to get used to, but I eventually got used to, to it. Basically, what you gotta do is you have to build a theme park, and, yep, guests actually show up, and you have to keep them happy, basically. So, if there's, like, any problems, it'll tell you in the red text at the bottom of the screen. So, basically that. Yeah. So, we're just gonna build some paths, because what's a theme park without paths? So, yeah, I'm excited to be playing this game for you guys. I figure I'd change it up. Also, I plan on showing you the other park scenarios, but here's the thing. Um, since, they, since the other um, goals take forever to complete... What I'm going to do, and for some of the scenarios I don't even have completed because of how hard they kind of are. So what I'm going to do, I'm probably not going to show every scenario because it, I have to actually unlock the ones I don't have and it might take some time. So all I will say is I'll do those scenarios once I have them. Only time will tell when those type of videos will be out. So it could be a while, so thank you for your patience. This game isn't one of my important Let's Plays I anyways. I'm just showing it off for fun because I figured I'd show a new game off to you guys. Have variety here. So we're going to build um, a ride. We're going to build this. Um, the tw It's called Twist. Um, we have a ride similar to a, a theme park I go to. It's called Merry Mixer. That's basically what this is. So you have to build entrances and exits, and you have to connect them to certain paths, basically. Um, so, looks good, but wait a minute. Do we have the park opened? No, we don't. It should be free admission, I think. That path is a dead path. We gotta figure out where that goes. Yeah, this game may be pretty, like, dull at first, but you'll get used to it. Don't worry. Alright, so we got that. What do we do now? Let's see. I might move some trees out of the way just for space purposes. So, let's figure this out. What do we do? There's a train. That's pretty cool. Probably won't have enough room for it. Also, you need things like restrooms, um, food stalls, and drink stalls. Because guests will want to go to the bathroom... And they probably want food or drinks at some point. So make sure you have those. So we're, we all, you might, I also recommend you place benches down so that they can sit in case they get sick after getting on a ride or getting, yeah, put benches down in case they get sick. It could really help, even though there's benches already over there, but those are pre-installed. Um, what else? So these are the ones we have so far. We've got some gentle rides. Um, haunted house, merry-go-round. Let's put a merry-go-round. And since the music might be copyrighted, I'm actually going to mute the music before um, putting, um, like, opening the ride. Because you have the option to um, turn off the music, like right here. I didn't want copyright going in. That's why I did that. And now we have to make the lines, like, we gotta make both queue lines. And a path leading to the exit. Um, for certain rides, you don't need to make the paths, like, too long or too short. So, 
for instance, for rides like the spiral slide or that 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 ring ride, you you do not need to make the lines extremely long. Because guests will eventually get tired of waiting in line, so but for for big rides, I'd say for big rides, make the lines long. For small rides, make them short. That'll that'll make them happier and they don't they won't get too upset um about um waiting forever in line. You know what I mean? So yeah. That's advice for that. So I'm just going to make some more paths here. So, let's do that. Okay. My god. Also, you want to you want to hire some staff to help too because they're also important to the game. Handyman's what they will do. Um they just sweep like they sweep throw up that they just sweep up puke from guests who get sick, basically. They also mow grass. They also take out the trash. Uh, mechanics, they're very important. Make sure you have mechanics. Um, what they mostly do is sometimes a ride will randomly break down and the mechanic has to fix the ride. So make sure you have mechanics. They are important. Another one... I can still talk about this, but I'm going to try to... I'm going to probably build a roller coaster here. I'm figuring out which one I want to do. Probably going to buy the the least expensive one. Because I don't want to buy a too much one. Alright, which one do I get? Um, maybe Microphobia. Maybe... It, you can raise the loan, but it'll eventually stop, so... Yeah. So let's figure out where to put the microphobia. That's a kind of... It's a pun on microphobia. It's a kind of... It's a kind of, like, fear. I don't know what... I don't know what it means. Alright, well, let's find a spot to put it, I guess. Um, you can't put it there. It's not... That land's not owned by the park. Yeah, you get all that land, but... You only have little space to put rides and stuff. That's kind of weird. I played another tycoon game. I played another tycoon game before. It was called Zoo Tycoon. It's not really as much fun as this game, though. Theme Park Tycoon sounds more funner. And yes, this game you actually have to buy with real money on the App Store, just to let you know. Oh, uh, oopsie. I uh, accidentally... Um, two paths there that I didn't want to put. Anyways, going back to the hiring people, um, security guards, make sure you have them as well. They make sure people don't vandalize. So, cause people can vandalize in this game, which means, which means benches can be broken. Benches can break and the trash, the trash can. So basically benches can be broken and trash can lids can be like on the ground. That's vandalizing. Make sure you have security guards because they, they just put a stop to that. Also, there's entertainers. Um, their purpose is not really that important, but you can just have them. Basically, what they would do, they just make guests even more happy. They're like mascots. That, that's what entertainers are. So that's basically the hiring stuff. So I'm just putting a food and drink stall a hamburger bar and a soda stall, basically. There's other stalls you can get in the game. I don't know if they'll ever be shown in the video, but we'll have to see. So yeah, make sure we gotta make sure we have security guards. We don't want people vandalizing. That one that wouldn't be good. They're kind of like police. Let, let's just add one entertainer for now. There's like there's like different costumes you can make it. They vary throughout. Um locations um for this one it's just a panda a tiger and an elephant but there could be different costumes depending on what scenario you're playing you could also be also be free to decorate this place because the guests would love the decorations it increases the happiness so i'm gonna add some flowers there's other stuff you can get too but you have you have to wait till you unlock them should i add a fence here 
I don't know. It's kind of turned the other way. I kind of can't even rotate it. Um, yeah, I would love to place a fence. Uh-oh. The sky got dark. It got dark, which means it's going to rain. Can't get umbrellas out right now because we don't have the, the kiosk unlocked. Oh my god, it's lightning out. Let's add a haunted house. Yeah, we're going to add a haunted house. Um, where do we put it? Because when it rains, a lot of people would want to go on indoor rides. This is one of them. I think another one would be the observation tower. Um, and the Dodge Gems, which is just bumper cars. Um, try to raise the loan a little bit more. An issue I have, an issue of the money I've had in this game, sometimes the money would just go into the negatives. So, so you see the money up there, right? When it's in the negatives, it'll, the text will turn red. That's what I hated about it. Because you can't buy anything. When you, when that happens, you literally cannot buy anything. So when you're in the negatives and the numbers turn from white to red, you are literally screwed. You cannot buy anything until you try your hardest to get it back in the white. It can be difficult. You have to be extremely careful about that. I've dealt with it a lot of times playing this game. And I'm going to make sure it doesn't happen here. Because this is the first park. I want to do good with this. Let's just hope. Anyways, I'm going to place a... F I just got a Ferris wheel, so I'm just going to place it somewhere. Um... I'm probably not going to spend too much time um, doing, like, just playing this until we beat the goal. Because, again, they can take a while. So, this is the only time you're actually going to see me, like, place rides down and stuff. Well, m maybe. Maybe or maybe or maybe not. Maybe for the other ones, maybe I could add some more things. But it, it all just depends, okay? Okay, so, got a Ferris wheel. I'd say it's going good so far. Okay, yep. Um, we need a park rating with at least 600. We don't have 250 guests. But we have plenty of time. It's only April right now, so... I'd say we're doing okay so far. So yeah, I'm just basically teaching you all the basics of this game, basically. I'm going to raise more of the loan. I feel like adding another... I feel like adding a kitty coaster or something on the other side. I just hope I have enough for it. I'm at $6 million right now. Oh yeah, here are the guests. They each have their own names. And what's cool about it is that you can actually name the guests yourself. You can actually do that. I guess... Also, um, these are the guest thoughts. It's important that you read these thoughts... That way you can help them. They have thoughts and they have actions. Basically what they're doing right now. So yeah. All of this stuff about the actions and the thoughts. It makes the game fun. Because you, you'll get to. Um, you'll get to like. You get to help them. That, that brings more of the fun. That brings more of the fun in it. Okay I don't think I can build a train. I don't think so. There's not enough room. I'm going to add a kitty coaster. So we'll add, we'll have two roller coasters. Chocolate Log, Crazy Caterpillar, Mango Mun Muncher. Going with Mango Muncher, it's it's the least expensive. So I'm going with that. Where do I put it? Um I Don't want it I don't want it too close to the Ferris wheel, so um ah uh, I don't know if it would look good there. Uh here? Okay, here then. And what's cool about the roller coasters, you don't have to worry about adding an entrance or an exit because it's already there for you. All you have to do is add a path that would connect to the like the ride, like I'm doing right now, basically. There's different, yeah, there's different paths, colors, like, and designs you can choose from. But I'm just going with the standard one right now. Because this is kind of a basic park. So that's pretty much the reason. But yeah, this looks this is looking good so far. 
a lot to this game, but as time goes on, you would be you would be able to understand it. This game is Roller Coaster Tycoon Classic. It's basically Roller Coaster Tycoon 1 and 2. So here are the guests, as you can see. Like I said, you can actually name the guests. So what if I name the guest Lake from Dispenser Camp? <laughs> and the shirt color makes a lot of sense too. So yeah, you can see if you can see their happiness and all that stuff. Also, and you can also name the ride too. So what if I name this Dispenser Camp just for the heck of it? And what's funny, you can name it something funny, and then if the ride breaks down, it'll actually say the title of what you put and has broken down. It's freaking funny. So, yeah, also sometimes the guests can run out of money. So, um, also, they might not afford as much money to go on a ride. So, if that happens, you have to decrease the price of a ride so that more guests would want to go on the ride. That's another piece of advice, because that can sometimes happen, too. Like, if you see that nobody's in line for a certain ride, and it's because a guest is saying they can't afford to go on it, that means you have to decrease the price of the ride so that they can go on it. So let's let's build a pirate ship ride. Um, let's see where I... I can put it next to the Ferris wheel. Um, I also put a cotton candy stall. Guys, his, that face looks creepy. Thank God ours doesn't look like that. They're just simple, basic buildings. But this is classic stuff. Maybe classic stuff looked like that back then. This game might even be older than me. Probably. It probably is. So... Put the queue line... <clears throat> and the exits. Make sure you do that. So that's pretty cool. So we got a pirate ship ride. The theme park I go to, it's called the Galleon. It's literally what that is. Okay, I guess we don't need this path anymore. I'll wait till the security guard goes off it. There we go. But yeah, you don't want to trap guests because they'll complain. they'll complain that they're stuck or it's too crowded or something and that wouldn't be good. Also, guests can also drown in this game, but that would kill them, so... When a guest drowns, it'll tell you it'll tell you in a pop-up that the guest has drowned. So, yeah. You can also drown guests in the game, but I'm not gonna do that. Yeah, guests can have many complaints. I've had this problem before, too. I've noticed that... I've noticed that the ra the rating was going down. I was wondering why. To me, it looked everything was going smoothly. And until I noticed people were like, it's too crowded here. Like, that just tells you that you need to build more paths. Yeah. You might think that your park is going smoothly, but people will say it's too crowded here. That just means you have to make more paths. That's basically what that means. There needs to be more paths. So here's the spiral slide. This ride is a very small ride. It's like the smallest ride. You do not need to build. You do not need to make big paths for this ride. Just keep them small. This ride is very small. It's like one person goes at a time. Okay, maybe I made it a little big, but at least it's not too big, right? Honestly, maybe it... I don't know if I should have included those or not. I don't know. Maybe I'll fix it later. I, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. If people are complaining too much, I'll make it shorter. Also, you can also... Another thing, you can also customize... Um, you can also customize the rides. You can change their colors and all that. So that's pretty cool. But yeah, I hope you all like my park so far. This is basically the game. And I basically explained how it works and all that stuff. So, yeah, I think I'm going to go, and I'll be right back. All right, I am back, and it's about to turn October 31st, um, which means that I should be able to complete the goal soon. So I decided to go off screen and wait until I'm close to being the scenario so I don't, so I don't waste more time. 
But I'm back. As you can see, I was building a log flume. So we're just waiting until we beat the goal here. And there we go. As you can see, when you beat the goal, all of the guests cheer for you. And another funny thing, if you have a balloon stall, they'll literally all let go of their balloons and all of the balloons will go up into the sky. When that happens, I just like to pop them off because you can actually pop the balloons. So as you can see, I was building a log flume and I was having trouble with it. I, I, I could have bought another one, but it was too big, so I couldn't fit it. I'm just trying so hard to build this lock flume, trying to get the paths to connect to the station. What sucks about the, the curves? They're too freaking long. They need to make them shorter. I don't see the point of big curves. So I'm just trying to, I was just try. I was just working on this basically. Trying to find a way to, this is like a big puzzle at this point. I'm just trying to find a way to connect them to the station platform so that it can be rideable. I've also added other rides off screen. I'll, I'll show you them soon. You can see one of them. But I was glad I was just able to show off me being the scenario. That's what happens when you win a scenario. That's basically what happens. But if you beat it for the first time, it'll tell you that you unlocked a new one. That's how you unlock new locations. You have to beat, you have to complete the goal from the previous ones. That's basically what you do. There's this one park that you can build rides and place everything for free. It's called Arid Heights. But as of right now, I currently do not have it unlocked. It's kind of a disappointment. I hope to unlock it soon. I really do because that can be another one I can place rides in like, like this one on video. I just hope to unlock it soon. Again, this let's play is not too important to me. I can, I'll take my time with this. Do it whenever, upload these whenever I can. Like whenever I feel like something should go in. I would play Super Mario Wonder. I just haven't gotten around to it. Maybe I will soon at some point, but I'm throwing this in here right now. Probably not going to do the next episode of Mario Party 1 until next weekend. So yeah. I've just been busy with baseball. Um, I'm going to be exercising tomorrow. And I think Tuesday I'm fine. I think. But I and but Wednesday wait. Yeah, I don't think there's a game Tuesday. But Wednesday and Thursday there are games. I believe. Off the double check, but yeah. Sometimes this gets me frustrated because <laughs> I just want to connect it to the station so bad, but I'm having trouble. So you have to work around it. You have to, it's a puzzle. You have to solve it. Basically I've spent like 10 or 15 minutes on this part, maybe even longer than that. They also give you special rides. One of them's like an on ride photo because some of the rides have that feature where you, um, in my theme park, it's basically the one roller coaster, um, the lock flume as well. The haunted house started doing that for its 50 year anniversary. Um, the antique cars also does that. They started doing that for the first time, like a couple years ago, like in 2023, I think I had no idea that you're, you could, where do you even, you can't, there's no station to view the photos. You have to actually go to a different one to view the photo. They haven't made one, which is kind of surprising. And um, this one other roller coaster has it, and this other one has it. I'm just... And there's also a turnable. I don't know what that does. And there's S-curves. I've tried those too, but no really luck. If the, if the turn... Like, if the turns were not so long, I would be able to get it. Like, Wow. Also, tomorrow, I'm going to be reacting to episode 20 of the new Dispenser Camp episode. So, be ready for that. Um, oh my god, what do I do? How do I get this? I'm just trying so hard. Oh my god. I can't put a platform in front of it because it's the opposite side. It wouldn't work. How are guests going to get off the ride if I do that? Oh my god. If you guys have experience building um, custom roller coasters or log flumes or trains, you know the struggle. 
Okay, maybe for the trains it wouldn't be that bad, but for lock flumes and roller coasters when you have to custom make them, oh my god. Well, wait, wait. When you build a custom roller coaster, they give you more turns. When you build a lock flume, they only give you two turns. That's stupid. I think it's more harder to build a lock flume than a coaster, to be honest. And I don't like how I'm just wasting so much money. I know that I would get that money back when I delete it, but still. Oh my god. If they had a little turn, that would work, probably. Dang it. Oh my god. I gotta think. Um, I don't want to spend too much time trying to fix this log flume. I don't want to do that. Um, think. What do I do? That wouldn't work. Uh, the struggle with making a custom log flume. Because you can make some custom rides in the game. Not all of them. You can only make the thrill ones, basically. But oh my god. Um, sorry about that. Um, oh my god, these S bends will not work. Oh my god, this is uh, oh my god, the struggle. I'm telling you guys, the struggle of this. Uh, my god, uh. Oh, come on, really? The the twist is in the way. Or, or just Venture Camp, because I named it that for funnies. I was showing it off as an example of naming rides. You can name pretty much everything in this game. Okay, I'm going to try to find a different solution. I'm still in the three millions, so we'll see. Thank God I'm not in the... It's better than being in the negatives. Thank God I didn't... I w didn't reach that. If I show another park off that I've already done, then you might see that. Basically, in my other parks... Basically, for the other parks, I'm just gonna do a walkthrough and show you everything that I have. There probably won't be much of putting new stuff down, but at least I'm showing you what I have. So it, it'd be nice. Okay, let, let's think. Um... Oh my god. You have to work at it very carefully in order to make this work. Um, oh my god. Okay, that won't work. Oh, oh my god. The struggle. If you've experienced this before, you know how it feels. Okay, let's try this. Maybe. Wait, maybe. Could this work? Oh, maybe. Maybe. Oh, <gasps> finally, finally, we got it. Let's go. Oh, my God, that was stupid. We finally got it to connect. Oh, my God. The struggle of just getting them to connect. Oh, we are. Wait, we are not having that many log flume boats. Yeah, if you make a ride, if you make a log flume like that size, you do not need a lot of boats. It'll, it'll get, it'll, it'll, it'll kind of be difficult. So just go with three or four of them or five of them, your choice. But yeah, I guess I could show you the new stuff I have. So you got a rowing boats area right there. I added a rowing boats. So you can actually raise water. You, you actually can raise water so you can make like more water rides and stuff. That's what it does. What are my handyman up to? Um, because I think people are complaining about the footpaths, so we, yeah, m make sure your handymen are around for that. Um, let's see. Oh, yeah, I also have an information kiosk. Let, let's put, let's put, do I, I unlock Dodge gems. You unlock new rides over time, by the way. They, they work on them and they have them available for a specific month and day. You just, they, you don't, there's no requirement to unlock them. It just happens automatically. Also, I, I'm happy that Pauline is going to be added to Super Mario Party Jamboree. She might be the only one, like, she might be the only new character added. So, yeah. 
we're just gonna build the path for Dodge Gems. I can't wait to play that game soon. Probably gonna get it for my birthday or something. So yeah, for this ride, I don't think you need a way too big path. Okay, I didn't want to go that direction. Also, that ride right there is also new. It's a car ride. It ha it's like a truck themed. Uh-oh, I, I forgot to make an entrance to the lock flume. My bad. Music also plays on that ride automatically like the carousel, so I turned it off. We forgot to add a path. My bad. I guess I wasn't paying attention to that. There's also an information kiosk. People will use that the most. They just buy things like they have souvenirs, maps, umbrellas, all that stuff. They'll only pull the umbrellas out when it rains. So that's what that does. It sucks we don't have the water stuff unlocked. I could have put them in the middle of the lock loom, but I never did that. So yeah. So you, that car ride is new as well. So I did that off screen, so... I want to put something there. How about the observation tower? And no, this tower is not a drop tower. I might have thought that as a little kid, but it's actually not. This tower is not a drop tower. You can also make it as high as you want, but you can even take it to the black um, background. But I'm probably not going to do that because it's a, kind of a waste of money. $18 each time. So... And real life rides would not, like building rides would probably cost more than that. So you, let's just um, connect these paths. Microphobia broke down. Oh boy. Okay, and let's do that. So yeah, this is not a drop tower. It just goes up and down like slowly. It it means that people can get a view from up there. That's basically what it means. Uh, and it's starting to rain and as you can see, everyone has their umbrellas out. You can customize the umbrellas too, like the color. So that's pretty cool. Um anything else or do you think I'm good? I hope you all enjoyed me playing this game. It's all it's a really fun game. Sometimes you have to work hard for certain things like that that like keeping people happy and knowing what to do but other than that i still think the game's really fun there's the junior roller coaster so i'll probably show each one off to you before i end the video here's the pirate ship ferris wheel roadworks uh the car ride dodge gems basically bumper cars a lot of cars in there do you think that's necessary haunted house um carousel twist lock flume oh my god it took forever to build that like I'm telling you. Um, the other roller coaster, oh, it's broken down right now, I think. Yeah, it is. Oh, they just fixed it. <laughs> wow. So, yeah, this is basically my park. This is basically Roller Coaster Tycoon Classic. And there's the observation tower again. So, yeah, that's basically the game. It's pretty self-exclamatory and there's the flower field with the fence i actually added some fence there i was planning on making it go around it but i haven't gotten around to that yet it's getting light again the rain's gonna stop let me add some more entertainers just to show you what they look like so here's tiger basically and the next one is the other one's elephant whoops there we go So yeah, that's basically the game. I hope, hope you all enjoy that. Again, I plan on showing you the other parks, but only when I have time and I feel like doing it. So those will be up. The other ones will be uploaded whenever I feel like playing the game. The other parks will be. I'll do the other parks whenever I feel like playing the game and I have time. So I'll show the other parks off whenever I play the game, basically. This is Toadette Girl 20 I hope you all enjoyed me playing this game. It was a lot of fun. I want to thank you all so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.